All right, I'm back. So we gotta do this, man. Young, yeah. I'm not. I'm not done talking about this guy. This guy right here. He. He's unbelievable. Young yeah, is one of these people who get up here. He's a consumer advocate or whatever you want to call it. Pointing out what companies have done wrong. Let me just hit up his YouTube channel and read the, the title of, of some of the, the, the past few videos. Right? Google Stadia devs misled and lied to by boss weren't warned of studio shutdown right so he's talking on the behalf of the devs right he's talking on the behalf of the devs ps5 scalpers play the victim say they don't deserve the bad press he's shitting on ps5 scalpers that's what he's doing mm -hmm. a lot of people think ps5 scalpers are scammers liars bullshitters he's shitting on them you know, he's he's here for the consumer. He's here for us. Right? He's here for us. Right? Google screws over the Terraria devs. Devs cancel Stadia version. He that's an indie developer. Yang Ye is out here speaking up against big bad Google for the little man, right? That's what he's doing. WB Games patent Nemesis system in Middle Earth games, pissing off devs and gamers. I think we, we've had enough of that. But what he's doing is positioning himself to be on the right side of what he pertain uh, of, of what he uh perceives to be bad situations whether they're bad or not whether the devs are fucking up or not whether uh, it's fucked up that WB patented something that they invented that, that, that one of their studios invented or not what well, that's besides the point how can you do all of this shit making all these videos in this vein when you fucking help CD Projekt Red scam everybody not two fucking months ago. You complied with what they did. When they came to you and told you you couldn't show shit. When you was talking about piece of shit ass game Cyberpunk. A game that I still like but it's a piece of shit. I like the game. It's a piece of shit. Every patch unpatches something. Every patch. You don't. <laughs> That's besides the point. When they told you you couldn't show footage, you went with that. You complicit in the fraud that these motherfuckers put forward. But this man wake up with a straight face every day, every morning. It's a new Young Yeah video up there about him talking about some shit that's going on. About him speaking up for the smaller or the perceived little person in the... Uh, situations that he's speaking on but yet on the side of a company this what valued over seven billion dollars or some crazy shit the cd project red a, a company that's put out really the four major games but they have the uh the gog store so i guess that's some of the value but on, on behalf of a multi-billion dollar co corporation cd project red Gagnier, he helped them con you. Even just refusing to do it would have been better than doing it. But with your track record, it seemed like you would have been out there and spoke up about how bullshit it was. Not gave a quick aside at the beginning of your review that you didn't like it, but uh, here goes the review anyway. And told a bunch of lies about the game that a bunch of that when people got their fucking hands on it, none of it was so. None of it was so. So, oh, why, 
Why do you get off still calling out companies for doing bullshit as you say it? When you a con man with them. You was the fucking marketing arm for CD Projekt Red for years. You even marketing those motherfuckers with the shit that you sell, bro. Your Yang Yeah merchandise has the CD, the Cyberpunk 2077 text style, the font on it. So don't do that shit for a company that you don't like and then bow down to companies that you do like. And like I said, of course, he made little bullshit videos talking about not calling out CD Projekt Red, just talking about the fuck ups that happened in the fallout of, um, of the cyberpunk situation. All that shit was tepid. All that, he was tiptoeing around it because the next time they make a game, he want to be in that secret room getting shown some secret footage that the game will never look like. Because as much as I love The Witcher 3, even The Witcher 3 didn't hold up to what they initially showed. For real. And that's the game what their reputation is built upon. Their reputation, they had a middling reputation or, or what I just say a cult following based off of the first two Witcher games, but The Witcher 3 catapulted them into the mainstream so basically I don't think just that one game caused the hype for cyberpunk 2077 people like young yeah contributed to that because just like any game the Witcher 3 would have been long forgotten if it was just released, got its critical acclaim, got its sales, and, and, and fucked off. But like I said last time I spoke about it, with every little dick pulling moment that CD Projekt Red had jerking their own self off, talking about how they don't do this and that and they leave this and that to these other people. Motherfuckers like him, especially him, was out there in the front waving the CD Projekt Red flag congratulating these dudes for not doing shit that we perceived them for, for, for not doing shit that we perceived that they weren't supposed to do anyway you know what I'm saying do you get patted on the back for not robbing a bank no you don't and say I, you come out and say I leave the bank robbing to the robbers I don't rob the bank nobody gives a fuck because you ain't supposed to rob banks so why was people congratulating CD Projekt Red for saying they leave microtransactions to the other guys they leave the greed to the other guys and shit it's a lie anyway because there's microtransactions in the Gwent game and it was going to be microtransactions in the cyberpunk multiplayer if that bullshit ever even comes the fuck out <laughs> these days, like they got, they got to spend so much time fixing the base game. They don't have time to make multiplayer right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, so back to the original point, you promoted fraudulence two months ago. Two months ago, you promoted fraudulence. You participated in the biggest lie that was told last year. The whole of the year, the biggest crock of shit that was delivered was Cyberpunk 2077. They, they did everything they could to hide that motherfucker from the public eye, and you helped. So why in the fuck? Are you out here talking shit about other companies now, bro? Like, what are you doing? I don't understand why people even still take this dude serious. I don't understand how you can make it through one of his boring ass fucking videos. 
Like, all he doing is sitting up there reading shit to you. You can't read? Fuck out of here, man. Stop it.